Despite last year's Hellboy reboot didn't catch on with everyone, no prop. Get ready, because I'm about to review the original Hellboy with Ron Perlman, directed by Guillermo del Toro, right now. Bad days! Entertainment rankings and reviews. Greetings, my fellow YouTubers, and welcome to Big D's Entertainment Rankings and Reviews. My name is Duel, better known to y'all as the Big D, and this time around I bring to you a review of the 2004 supernatural superhero flick, Hellboy, released by Columbia for Revolution Studios, starring Ron Perlman in the title role, with Selma Blair, Jeffrey Tambor, Carl Roden, Rupert Evans, and John Hurt. Based on Mike Mignola's comic book character of the same name from Dark Horse Comics, this is based on the graphic novel Hellboy, Seed of Destruction. The movie is directed by Guillermo del Toro. The film's about a demonic beast turned superhero who secretly works to keep the world safe from paranormal threats with his team, the Bureau of Paranormal Research and Defense, the BPRD. Now, actually, I remember going to see this movie, and I gotta say, it was awesome. And a really good one, as a matter of fact. Anyway. This was just... I don't know what to tell you. Now... This was just a fun experience. Now, I remember going to the old Carmike Cinema, now an AMC Classic, just shortly after I went and saw The Passion of the Christ, which was released before this, because this came out in April of 2004, early April. Anyway, well, I've never actually... Read one of the comics, but I have seen the graphic novels before, though. And I'm going to say Hellboy's definitely a great one. So anyway, let's get into our story. Now, in 1944, with the help of Russian mystic Grigory Rasputin, the Nazis built a dimensional portal off the coast of Scotland and intended to free the Ogdru Jihad and aid them in defeating the Allies. Rasputin opens a portal with the aid of his disciples, Ilsa von Hopstein and, can't really pronounce this part, but I know the rest, Karl Ruprecht Cronin. As Allied team well, an Allied team destroys the portal, guided by a young scientist named Trevor Bruddenholm, colloquially known as Broom. The German team is killed, and the portal is destroyed in the process absorbing Rasputin, while Hopstein and Cronin escape. And the team discovers that an infant demon with a right hand of stone comes through the portal. I mean, when they see him, the fun really begins. Yes. And. Uh, yes. <laughs> oh, I love it. <laughs> One of the guys is like, what is that? An ape? <laughs> yeah. And. Well, well the, the leader of the. The allied team is like, what are you shooting at? It's like, a red ape! It's like, no, says Boom. It's not an ape. And well, he manages to get the baby demon's attention with a uh, baby Ruth candy bar. Yeah. And apparently, Broom takes in this here demon, and they dub him Hellboy. And there are opening starts with a great intro theme, which I absolutely love the score for this, done by Marco Beltrami, who who I didn't know who this was until I found he did the score for Scream. Look for a possible review of that next month. And boy, I gotta tell you, it's awesome. Anyway, 16 years later, Cronin and Hobson resurrect Rasputin. 
and FBI agent John Myers is transferred to the BPRD at the request of Professor Broom. That's John Hurt, who a lot of you know him from Alien, but he recently played Mr. Ollivander in Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone a few years before this. And there he first meets the psychic amphibious humanoid named Abe Sapien, who of course is one of Hellboy's allies. And soon he meets the grown, now grown-up Hellboy, who refers to, who calls Professor Brown father. <laughs> yeah, he is sent to an investigate an incident at a museum and battles a creature called Samael. Yep. I really like it when after he meets Myers and talks to some of the other human members of the the BPRD when he hears a, a sound an alarm going on, it's like, hey, hey, they're playing our song. Come on, champ, let's go fight some monsters. Oh yeah, that's awesome. After play of um, Red Right Hand in this, which actually the original version of that song was actually played in Scream. Can can you believe that? <laughs> okay, enough said. After defeating it in a really big bell, which is totally awesome, he manages to Hellboy manages to get away from Myers and and visits former member and girlfriend Liz Sherman, played by Selma Blair, at a mental hospital that she committed herself due to her unstable pyrokinetic abilities. Yes. Abe learns that Samael was resurrected by Rasputin, who has imbued Samael with the power to reincarnate and split his essence causing two of the creature's eggs to hatch and mature each time one dies. Abe also learns that Broom is dying. Concluding the eggs are in the sewer, Hellboy, Abe, and several FBI agents go down to destroy them. Abe is injured while looking for him, while Cronin appears and kills most of the agents. Cronin whose mutilated body is run by mechanical parts, shuts himself down, pretending to be defeated, and is brought to the Bureau. The director of the FBI, Tom Manning, is angered by Hellboy's recklessness. Yeah. And apparently, he's not too thrilled, even once... Hellboy surprised to see Liz is brought back, courtesy of Myers. But anyway, Myers takes Liz out for coffee in the top, but Hellboy gets all jealous and covertly follows them, leaving the bureau unguarded. Yeah, this is when the good stuff occurs. <laughs> Yeah, he sees a little boy up there, and he's, he tells him, I'm on a mission. Yeah. Anyway, meanwhile, Cronin reanimates himself, and Rasputin appears at the bureau, confronting Broom. Rasputin offers him a vision of the future, showing Hellboy as the agent that will destroy the world. However, Broom tells Rasputin he will always see Hellboy as his son. Rasputin, respecting Broom for raising Hellboy, directs a quick death by Cronin. And Broom dies holding a rosary. Um, yeah, Hellboy's feeling upset as he manages to stay away from a big crowd as the other agents carry him, carry him his um, casket off. And, well... But anyway, now I'm going to get to the final act of the movie and the ending. So now you have exactly five minutes, five seconds, excuse me, to stop this video. Go to the description box below and fast forward to the time below in order to avoid ending spoilers. Because this was when it really gets intense. Mm -hmm. More intense than what you have seen already. Here we go. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, you've been warned. Manning now takes over the BPRD and locates Rasputin's mausoleum in an old cemetery outside Moscow. A team led by Manning and Hellboy enters the mausoleum, but swiftly becomes separated. Hellboy and Manning really still in a squabble find their way into Cronin's lair and eventually gets ready to the to kill him. Hellboy reunites with Liz and Myers at Samael's new nest, but the creatures overwhelm them. And Liz uses her pyrokinetic powers to re to, uh, to incinerate the creatures and their eggs. Yep, Hellboy, Liz and Myers lose consciousness and are captured by Rasputin and Hopstein. Rasputin sucks Liz's soul out of her body then tells Hellboy to release the Ogdru Jihad in return for her soul. Hellboy awakens his true power as Anung Un Rama, causing his horns to regrow and begins to release the Ogdru Jihad. Myers breaks out of his restraints and subdues Hopstein and reminds Hellboy that he can defy his destiny, drawing Broom's rosary to him resembling his true self and what Broom brought him up to be. And boy, Hellboy breaks off his horns and reseals the Ultra Jahan and impels Rasputin with one of the broken horns. Succumbing to his wound, Rasputin allows himself to be possessed by a creature from the Ultra Jahad. The tentacle behemoth bursts out of his body and grows to immense size, killing him and Hopstein. Well, Hellboy's fix up with a belt of hand grenades and what have you. And Myers asks if he's going to be okay um, if he takes on that monster. He's like, how big can it be? Or how bad can it be? And, and then he gets caught by the tentacle behemoth. Catches Hellboy... And he allows himself to be, and Hellboy allows himself to be swallowed by this creature, and then detonates the belt of hand grenades and destroys it from the inside. Man, that is freaky! And he whispers something into Liz's ear, and she is revived. When she asks how her soul was returned, Hellboy replies that he said, "Hey, you on the other side? Let her go, because for for her, I'll cross over, and he'll be sorry." And then they kiss. That's the end. So, what did I think of Hellboy? I'm going to say it was an awesome thrill ride. I loved it. This movie is so awesome. I loved Ron Perlman as Hellboy. He was awesome. Selma Blair was great. Everybody was great. The story was real good. One of you. Now, I almost forgot there is a mid credit scene. Man still... Down in the top, well, somewhere, and he hears something, he's like, hello? Yeah, we, no one knows what happens. But anyway, the movie did pretty well, and it got positive reviews. It made almost 100 million worldwide. So, it did, it did quite well. So anyway, Again, the cast was great. The story was great. From my point of view, the music, absolutely great. Marco Beltrami's score for this, awesome. Guillermo del Toro's directing was real good. The action sequences were good, etc., etc., etc. Now, the question is, would I recommend Hellboy? Let me say this, no pun intended. Hell yeah! Yes, this is one film you need to check out. Now... The film was actually released in PG-13 form. Then, about a few months later, a, an unrated director's cut came out. I wanted to see this and never could get my hands on a copy. But, I'm hoping to find it one day if the price is good. If not, well, I can't say I didn't try. But anyway, Hellboy is awesome. You gotta check it out. Then it went on to put out a sequel, which Universal did, three, well, four years later, which I'll be reviewing that this weekend. 
But anyway, what did you think of Hellboy from 2004? Please feel free to tell me in the comment section below. If you like this video, click the like button below, subscribe to my channel as well, and be a part of the Big D Nation. And very soon next time, I'll be doing a... Now, I've just got something to mention. I'm going to do a special video tomorrow. Well, not tomorrow, but... Uh, well, very... Well, tomorrow I will be doing my first Saturday morning TV log of the year. Well, not year, the month. Oh, I'm sorry. I, my my mind's not with me. My, I help you understand. Uh, and I do the, soup, the original Super Friends. And I'll also be reviewing Tenet, which just now got released in theaters, if I get a chance to go see it. And I'll also review Hellboy 2, The Golden Army. Okay, there I got it. <laughs> You're gonna have to excuse me for this. But anyway, thanks for watching my review of Hellboy. If you liked this, you can check out some of these other reviews and what have you. Go to the upper left hand corner to see my review of last year's reboot, if you wanna. The, in the upper right hand corner is my review of Darkman that I did for its 30th anniversary not so long ago. And the bomb left hand corner is my recent review of Daredevil. And the bomb right hand corner is the button you can click to subscribe. I, and, and now for that special video, I'm going to be doing a special TV log, a TV log special on Amazon Prime's The Boys, which I'm giving a second chance in watching. Okay, thanks for watching. Until next time, I'm the Big D saying, see ya.